Was last night a dream or what? A little bit of Raffi on the stereo, a pre-dinner cruise around the kitchen in your stroller, a little bit of peekaboo with big bro Casey. You and I are setting a new standard for quality time. Yes, we are. You know what? I'm glad your mom decided to be a little more reasonable about you and I seeing each other. Because I did not file joint custody so that I could take you away from your mommy. I did it so that you and I would have the kind of time together that daddies and their sons need. Oh, that must be your mom. Let's go tell her what a great time we had. Come on, let's go see mommy. I bet you this is her. Let's check it out. It is. Look what you and your little custody suits are doing to me now. You happy? This has been Katie Peretti with your afternoon news break. Have a great day. Marco, hey. Hi. Hi. What's going on? Is something wrong? Uh, uh, well, yeah, um, I got a call from Mama. Yeah? Um, she's had an accident. I mean, not a big accident. She's, she fell and broke her hip on the front walk of uh, the house. I told her to replace that flagstone step I earlier. I know, I know. Um, but the thing is, she says she needs someone to come and take care of her for the next, like, six weeks. Mama didn't say she wanted someone, did she? She said she wanted me. I happen to be walking by a newsstand. I'm glancing around. Imagine my surprise when I see that staring me in the face. Well, there must have been a photographer there that we didn't see. No, 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 no. A, a photographer I didn't see. Are you implying that I set this Just up? Just read the paper, Tom. Emily Stewart, former executive of the failed Montgomery and Associates and former editor of the Oakdale City Times, is now reduced to living on handouts from her mother, Dr. Susan Stewart, as well as from Tom Hughes, the father of her illegitimate son, Daniel. Mr. Hughes is a member of one of Oakdale's most prominent families, a newspaper man and the attorney who represented Katie Perez. You know what? Just stop. Stop. That's enough. You choreographed this whole thing. You and that despicable family of yours. Emily, would you just be reasonable? You waited till I was served the papers, and then you had a photographer capture my reaction. You know what? Why don't you just think? Because this is not the kind of publicity that I want for Daniel. Of course it is. Of course it is. You wanted me to look like some kind of nutcase so you'd win joint custody of our son. I wouldn't do it to you, and I wouldn't do it to Daniel. Yeah, right. Says the man who accused me of murdering Alec Wallace. Look, I don't know how this wound up in print. Unless Irv Becker was at the Lakeview when we were arguing. Irv Becker, the owner of this scandal-mongering piece of trash? Yeah, he eats lunch there almost every day. That must be how this happened. Yeah. Well, don't worry. I'm going to look into it. Well, why don't you do that? Because I don't have time to think about it. It's been a very difficult time for my family. Oh, please. It's always a difficult time. Something's always more important. I'm so sick of it. <laughs> well, I will not be walked on, Tom Hughes. Not by anyone, including you. <laughs> So, how did Katie take the news about Lila? Oh, she's pretty upset. I mean, the poor thing, it couldn't have come at a worse time. You see, I don't think that she's the only one that's upset. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm worried about Mama, but with everything that's been going on here, I, does that make me a terrible person? No? You sure? Thank you. Hi. Hey, guys. I hope I'm not interrupting. Hi, Katie. No, we were just talking about what's going on. I was sorry to hear about what happened to your mom. Yeah, it's pretty awful. Um, listen, Margo, I've been thinking. The last thing you need to be worried about right now is Mama, so I am going to take a leave of absence from W.A.K. to go to the West Coast and take care of her. I, oh, I, this makes me feel so guilty, Katie. I mean, I, interrupting your career when you're just getting a start like that? Well, you're right, you know. I mean, who knows if the networks will even want me in two months. Okay, so what we're going to do then is hire a nurse. No, you know that won't work. Mama was a nurse. No one will live up to her standards. Oh, you're right. You got a point. My career is what's been taking my mind off of this whole being stalked thing, but waiting on Mom hand and foot. Katie, you've been Mama's right arm all these years. I just 
feel guilty dumping this on you. It'll just mean that I've had plenty of practice. Years and years and years mm -hmm. of it. But no, it's nothing compared to what you've been through. Taking care of your husband, raising a family. You know, I could oversee things on this end. I know you could. It's... I'm sorry, Kate. It's just, you know, with everything the boys have been through in the last year and Andy missing, you know, Tom, John's gonna fall apart. And W.O.K. survived without me. Although, I have to say that the ratings have never been better. But Holden and the rest of the news team and thousands of fans will miss me. They'll just have to manage without me. You are so good. I'm, I'm, are you sure you don't mind going? No, no, it's, it's fine. I'll keep you posted on Mama's recovery. Yeah, please, daily phone calls. On our dime. You are the best sister in the world. Well, I gotta do my family duty. I guess I should go talk to Holden about getting time off. He has all of these things planned. You know, we, uh, we can pay for the plane fare. Yeah, absolutely, anything you need. That's okay, I can cover it. I feel absolutely rotten about this. Well, I don't think Lila nor anyone else expects you to leave Oakdale now. I know I feel terrible about Mama, but it's just I feel so bad dumping this on her. I mean, I should have been there more for my little sister when she was growing up. She's been Lila's support through all these years. Come on, come on. You put in your own time with Lila. You took care of Craig and Cricket long before Katie was even born. You know, the thing is, Tom, I just, I kind of miss Mama. Well, maybe you need to spend time with her. But then there's all that's going on here. I mean, Andy missing and, and John and, and, the, and the boys and... You know what? John is family. If he needs anything, I can get it to him. And Casey and I will just do the bachelor thing for a while. And maybe you and Adam and Casey, you could come out and visit on long weekends, maybe? Could probably happen. It'd be nice for them to spend some time with their grandmother. Go ahead. Go tell Katie that you'll go. I love you. I know. <laughs> yes, she will. I'll go. Tom and I will work it out so I can go and take care of Mama. This is your moment, Katie. I want you to have it. Are you sure that you're okay with I'm this? I'm absolutely okay with this. As a matter of fact, truth be told, I, I could use a little mama time all to myself. But, Andy... Well, Tom is gonna be here for John, and, and um, I'm gonna be in constant phone contact. Margot, about Andy, if there's anything the station can do, just let us know. Oh, thank you. That's great. Just, uh, you know, keep the faith. He's gonna be safe. Well, you know what? I suddenly have a thousand things I've got to do, so I gotta run, okay? Okay. Oh, give mom my love. Okay? Oh, you know I will, baby. Bye-bye.